Hey there sewers, in this tote bag tutorial I'm going to show you how I make the perfect tote bag with a slip pocket in the front and these great gussets right here on the bottom. So you can fit so much in there. So when you download my pattern, I give you two patterns. One where you can tape together just like this, pages one through nine, right next to each other. Or if you don't like taping together, you can also take this one over to your copy shop and they print it all on one large sheet for you. So I've gone ahead and printed my down and taped it together. So you're going to need the three pattern pieces. Number one, the bag body, we're going to cut one out of those. Number two, the handle piece, we're going to cut two. And piece three, pocket, we're going to cut two. So let's start with the bag body, right sides together. The fold of the fabric down here, you're going to bring that bag body pattern and right here where it says fold line, you're going to line it up to the fold of the fabric. I'm using my pattern weights and I'm going to cut this right out but make sure you don't cut where it says fold line. Same thing with the handle. Line it right up to the fold line and I'm gonna cut two of those out. And then for the pocket, you just need two pieces. You could place that anywhere. Don't cut where it says the fold line. And now we have double the size here for the bag body. So now I'm gonna cut the handle the same way. So once my pieces are cut, that was quick, I have my two handles, my body bag piece, and my two pocket pieces. So let's start first with the pocket. We're gonna pin it right sides together and we're gonna sew all the way around leaving an opening. And of course, I'm gonna backstitch on the openings. I am using a half inch seam allowance and I have my little magnet guide there to help me out. Now I'm gonna clip my corner so when I turn it right side out, the corners are nice and square. My favorite turning tool ever is my chopstick. After giving it a nice press, I'm gonna bring the opening of that pocket there to the bottom and I'm gonna give it a nice top stitch on top so I know that that's the top of my pocket. On this version I did, I gave it a decorative stitch. It's up to you. So now what I'm gonna do is place it onto the front of the bag. I'm gonna make sure my fabric is folded evenly with that opening at the bottom there and I'm gonna find the center of the front of my tote. Once it's pinned in place, I am going to give it a very close to the edge top stitch. From the very top here, I'm gonna back stitch down, turn, turn up. Remember, the top of the pocket stays open because it's a slip pocket. So very close to the edge, here I go, back stitching on the end. pockets looking great. So what I'm going to do now is fold it wrong sides together and pin the open sides here. What I'm going to do is start creating the French seam. So I'm going to make sure it's really lined up evenly and as I pin it on the side, when I'm done, what I'm going to do is sew it with a quarter of an inch seam allowance back stitching on the ends and I'm going to do the same thing on the opposite side. Quarter of an inch seam allowance back stitching on the ends.
I'm going to trim now close to the sewing line. The next thing I'm going to do is turn it wrong sides out. And I'm going to press it, making sure that the side seams that I just sewed and trimmed close are really pressed out the furthest they can be. Making sure there's no fold in there. I'm going to put my arm in there and press it all out. And give it a good press. And I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. Once this is pressed in place, I'm going to go back over to my sewing machine and I'm going to sew another seam on the same sides there that I'm actually pressing down at about 3 8 seam allowance. I could go even a little bit bigger. I just want to make sure wherever I trimmed, it is caught in that seam and none of it shows when I flip it around. And I will backstitch on the ends. My French seams are done. How easy was that? And now what I'm going to do is create the gussets for the bottom of my tote. This is the easiest way that I find to do this. So what I like to do is I like to have, first of all, the seam, the French seam facing the back of the bag. So the back is where the pocket is not. And then what I do is you have the seam at the bottom here that you ironed, or actually it's a crease. I'm going to line it up with the side seam. See how I use a pin to push it through if it lines up? And there we go. I'm going to measure up three inches from the point there all the way up. And I'm going to mark where three inches is. And as you've guessed, I'm going to just sew straight across there. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So let me repeat what I do. I like to use the pin. First of all, before I use the pin is I make that seam fold to the back of the bag. Then the pin, I stick it through the seam and I make sure it goes through the crease in the back. If not, I adjust it. If you get that pin through the seam and the back crease, you have a perfectly lined up tote bag gusset. And now I'm going to sew on this about three or four times back and forth, just to ensure if I put something heavy in this tote, it won't fall apart. And the bottom gussets are done. So what I'm going to do now on top is press the one inch hem on top here. I'm going to fold over an inch. I'm going to use my seam guide to help me. And I'm going to go around the entire bag pressing that one inch down. And then as you'll see, I'm going to repeat the same exact one inch so I get a double hem. Remember to always make your French seam face towards the back of the bag. Now with the double hem in place, what I'm going to do is start the handles. So on each handle, what you're going to do on the top is you're going to fold over and press a quarter of an inch hem on both long ends. Once my hems are in place, I'm going to fold over the entire handle this way, lining up the edges. And as you've guessed, I'm going to press. You can use clips to hold it in place or even pin it. It's your choice. I find some fabrics are so good that you don't even need to pin it, but that's your call.
Now I'm going to go back over to my sewing machine and at the very, very edge, I'm going to sew all the way down on both sides, close to the edge. Here's how I place the handles onto the tote in order to sew them on properly. So once the tote is right side out, I'm going to start with the front of the tote. I'm going to take one of the handles, making sure the hem is folded in, and I'm going to place it exactly how I want it. One here and one here. You could line it up any way you want, closer together, further apart. I'm kind of centering them so that the center of the handle is sort of like midway where the edge of the pocket is. See how I slip it under the hem, in the hem there? And then I fold that hem over, right? So I slip it in again, and then I fold the hem over, and we're gonna sew right over that. So it stays in place super strong. I'm gonna add two pins here. And then I'm going to do the same exact thing to the other side. And for the back handle, I'm gonna make sure there's no twist in the handle, and I'm gonna place it the same exact way. And what's great is that I just feel for where the front handle is, and I tuck it in the same exact way. Once that's pinned in place, what I'm gonna do is go over to my sewing machine and sew a top stitch at the very, very top of the bag and I will point to it in one second just to show you exactly where I'm doing it. So at the very, very top, close to the edge, I'm gonna sew all the way around a top stitch, and then also on the underside of the hem there, one on top, one on the bottom, close to the edges. I do tend to sew slow when I do these top stitches because I do want it nice and neat. And there are my top stitches up on top there and also at the bottom there. And that's it, this DIY tote bag is complete. Super quick, super easy, and I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you really love sewing tote bags like this, why don't you also check out the other tote bags right up here on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.